St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Good morning. The, today, the televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Peggy and Kevin O'Flaherty from Kenora, Ontario. This Mass is being offered in thanksgiving for an exciting marriage full of joys and sorrows, but always blessed by God's gifts, and for a large and amazing family and extended family. Tomorrow, Mr. and Mrs. O'Flaherty will celebrate their 60th wedding anniversary, and some of their family are here with us today. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this Mass and this celebration, we thank you and we extend our best wishes to you as you celebrate your 60th anniversary of marriage. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. My brothers and sisters in Christ, as we begin this Eucharist, let us Paul call to mind our failings and humbly ask for God's forgiveness and mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In this octave of Easter, we give glory and praise to our God by saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Father of love, by the outpouring of your grace, you increase the number of those who believe in you. Watch over your chosen family. Give undying life to all who have been born again in baptism. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now when the rulers, elders, and scribes saw the boldness of Peter and John and realized that they were uneducated and ordinary men, they were amazed and recognized them as companions of Jesus. When they saw the man who had been cured standing beside them, they had nothing to say in opposition. So they ordered Peter and John to leave the council while they discussed the matter with one another. They said, what will we do with them? For it is obvious to all who live in Jerusalem that a notable sign has been done through them. We cannot deny it. But to keep it from spreading further among the people, let us warn them to speak no more to anyone in his name. So they called the two apostles and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered them, whether it is right in God's sight to listen to you rather than to God, you must judge, for we cannot keep them from speaking about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them again, they let them go, finding no way to punish them because of the people, for all of them praised God for what had happened. The word of the Lord.
and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me Be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Now, after Jesus rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, whom he had cast out seven demons. She went out and told those who had been with him while they were mourning and weeping. But when the disciples heard that she was alive and had seen had been seen by her, they would not believe it. After this, Jesus appeared in another form to two of them as they were walking into the country. And they went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them. Later, he appeared to the eleven themselves as they were sitting at the table, and he upbraided them for their lack of faith and stubbornness, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had risen. And Jesus said to them, Go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation. My brothers and sisters, in Christ the gospel of the Lord. Praise. 